Welcome to the Mia Tech Training Academy. Um, we have run our Airbrush Ombre uh, Masterclass. We started the day yesterday by looking at the disciplines of um, creating an Airbrush Ombre eyebrow. So we go right back to basics with um, shading on paper and all the exercises that we learn on paper then we translated into latex. Um, where the girls were working with various devices. And then they had the opportunity to come in and watch five of our amazing um, regional directors um, create ombre eyebrows on models. We had all sorts of machines in the room. Obviously, many of the learners had the Beatech machine because um, that we represent and be a tech here in the UK, but there were other machines, um, German machines there as well that people were using. Then the learners had the most amazing opportunity to watch our Biotech Regional Directors create airbrush ombre eyebrows on five models. Our learners rotated every 15 minutes, so they got a taste of everybody's techniques, but definitely using the same concepts throughout. One of the techniques that we like to use to encourage learners to um, draw eyebrows super quick, especially if you're more in your infancy, maybe your first year of learning permanent makeup, is the mapping technique. And what we do, we use the standard measurements that you're, you've probably been taught by your trainers, and then we use threads which have been um, wiped down with pencils or dyes and we use those to allow us to create symmetry across the face. So we take the actual thread which is impregnated and we press it on the skin um, to allow us to see symmetry and create super quick symmetrical eyebrows. So in order to um, get the pigment to go in the skin super fast, there are two angles that you have to think about when you are applying airbrush ombre shading. Number one, on the horizontal plane, a 90 degree angle. The reason that we do this when your pen is completely upright, your work is very translucent. As soon as you lower that pen downwards, what will happen is that you will get a deeper implantation and your work will look denser. So make sure that your needle is completely upwards when you work and that is going to allow you to get translucent results.